Hello everyone, this is Shaw and you are watching Money 9. It's 10 o'clock and which means it's time for Money Time. Starting today, we are starting with Hyperloops. Passengers in India may soon get to travel in Hyperloops. Companies behind Hyperloop technology have shown interest to build this project in India. Maharashtra government is in talks with Virgin Hyperloop, a reputed company behind this technology, to build Hyperloop project connecting Mumbai and Pune. Hyperloop transportation system is currently under trial in the US. World's richest man Elon Musk has been also been advocate of Hyperloop technologies. Hyperloops are high speed trains which will run in vacuum tubes. Hyperloop vehicles are called pods. It can run at a speed of more than 1220 km per hour, though the tests were conducted at around 160 km per hour. Now, we will continue with technology. People living in Delhi and Sia can avail of 5G services of Reliance Geo throughout Delhi and Sia. Whether you live in Ghaziabad, Noida, Faridabad, Gurugram or Delhi, you can use Geo 5G services across the entire NCR. People living in Kolkata will be able to use Geo 5G services by December this year. Geo will be available throughout the country by December 2023. People living at Bengaluru airport can use 5G services of Airtel at the new airport terminal. While Customers flying in and out of Pune can enjoy high speed Airtel 5G Plus at Pune Airport. If you use internet to download your favorite movies and web series, then this news is for you. Telecom regulator Tri has said that citizens were able to download stuff from internet at fastest speed on 4G connections of Reliance Geo, whereas downloading speed of Vodafone was the slowest as compared to the other two telecom players. Whereas when it comes to uploading speed, Citizens were able to upload stuff fastest on 4G connections of Geo, but uploading speed of Vodafone was better than that of Airtel. Uploading speed of Airtel was the slowest in October. This speed comparison was only for the month of October 2022. Uploading and downloading speed of telecoms keep fluctuating, but overall, citizens find Geo's connection better than the other two players. If you invest in traditional investment instruments like fixed deposits, then this news is for you. Federal Bank has increased fixed deposit rates on Friday. Now, customers can get as high as 7.25% on FTS of 700 days. On one-year deposits, banks will pay interest rate of 6.25%. The bank has revised rates on fixed deposits of less than 2 crore rupees. The new rates are effective from November 18. Following revision, the bank is offering now interest rate ranging from 3% to 6.3% for general public and 3.5% to 6.95% for senior citizens on FTS maturing in 7 days to 2,223 days and above. Next news is for those who want to invest in IPOs. Real Estate Investment Trust that has invested in Delhi's iconic select city walk mall is going to bring its IPO in first half of next calendar year. Nexus Select Trust has filed its IPO papers with market regulator SEBI. According to the draft paper, the IPO size will be around 4,000 crore rupees. Nexus Select Trust has invested in 17 shopping malls across 14 cities of the nation. It is backed by global investment firm Blackstone. It is to be noted that three other REITs are already listed on the domestic exchanges. These REITs are of Embassy, Mindspace, and Brookfield. And companies continue to lay off employees. Andy Jesse, CEO of e-commerce aggregator Amazon, has said that Amazon could fire more employees in time to come. Amazon could continue to lay off employees in next year as well. Lot of employees received emails on Wednesday to leave office, although the exact number could not be ascertained. Last week, Meta fired around 11,000 employees across the globe. Elon Musk on Twitter has already cut its headcount by half. On Friday, there were reports that good number of employees resigned from Twitter. Musk said that he was not bothered. Only unproductive employees were quitting jobs. Next up is the wrap of corporate affairs. Rama Steel Tubes on Friday announced bonus issue in ratio of 4 to 1. This means if you hold shares of Rama Steel, then you will get 4 shares on 1 share. Bonus share will be credited in your DMAT account within the next 2 months. Shares of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Info as straight X dividend on Friday. HL's board had earlier announced an interim dividend of 20 rupees per share for FI23. Record date is November 21. While shareholders of InfoH will get an interim dividend of 10 rupees per share in the current financial year. Apart from this, Soom Distilleries and Breweries also announced dividend of 0.25 rupees on Friday. Next up, 
वी हैव न्यूज ऑन म्यूचुअल फंड डेटा बिजनेस चली इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स राइटिंग एम फी डेटा सेट इन रिपोर्ट रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स है इन्वेस्टिंग हैविली थ्रो सिप्स द सिप इन फ्लोज इन म्यूचुअल फंड है रोबस्ट इन लास्ट ट्वेल्व मंथ्स इनफैक्ट सिप इन फ्लोज टच रिकॉर्ड हाई ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स लैख करोड़ रुपीज इन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द एग्रीकेट एम ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड हाउसेज हैज क्रॉस थर्टी नाइन लैख करोड़ रुपीज टॉकिंग अबाउट मोर नंबर ऑफ सिप अकाउंट्स अ मंथली एवरेज ऑफ टेन पॉइंट एट लैख न्यू सिप अकाउंट्स व ओपन इन लास्ट वन ईयर Moving on to automobiles. Good news for those who had booked Kia India's electric vehicle, the EV6, and have not gotten a delivery. Kia has said that it will not import the cars to clear the pending orders. Such people will soon get delivery of the vehicle, although it did not specify the timeline of dispatch of the vehicles. EV6 was launched in June at a showroom price of 59 point. 95 lakh rupees it gives the range of more than 700 km on a single charge and we'll wind up the session with markets after fed's warning of aggressive rate hikes india's benchmark indices ended lower for second straight session on friday the 30 share bcs and this declined to settle below 61700 mark while the broader nsi nifty closed above 18300 points From the Sensex pack, Mahindra and Mahindra, Maruti, Bajaj Finance, Industrial Bank, NTPC, Bharti Airtel, ITC, and Intertech Cement were among the laggards. Mixed trend was witnessed in the global equities. U.S. market has also closed in the red in the previous day. International oil benchmark Brent crude hovered around ninety dollar per barrel today. Well, that's it for today. And if you like this content, do follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.